Hi everyone. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Mad Witch, and if you do know me, thank you for tuning in. And uh, I hope that you enjoy. I have already recorded this once already, and it just stopped halfway through, so I didn't know. So I've got to do it all again. I'm have I've had to come out and sit in my husband's studio because it is literally so dark in the house that there is nowhere for me to do this video and it's too grainy. So I started off over on the sofa but you couldn't see the cars so this is why I don't do videos anymore because the quality of the picture is so poor and uh, this used to be my studio and um, I had it was my sewing studio and now it's not it's um, I'm gonna have to shut that door I think that traffic is really loud but if I shut the door I think I'll melt so let's see how we go I promised I would do this video for Jamie um, ages ago and I, I haven't got around to doing it so um, for those of you, there will be other walkthroughs of this deck. There will be better walkthroughs of this deck. This is just a mad witch waffling again. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll get bored and, and, and move on if you want to know more about this deck. Anyway, it is the occult tarot. Here we go. See, trying to get the uh, picture to cope with the darkness is over there it's better over here it's not but the, the white is better so anyway so if you haven't got the occult tarot this is a deck of demons and it is by um travis mchenry and it is produced by rockpool publishing i really like rockpool i think they've come on so much i you know i any deck that i have of theirs is good quality basically um it's got that rose petal feel i know some people don't like it but i like i i do so there you go i i like it he also does a, i don't have his i think there's a, a dracula deck is it called vlad um i'm not sure but there's another deck but he, he does also have the angel terror i don't have this this is hubby's so not only am i in his studio <laughs> But I'm also showing his deck. I'm not going to get it out. Um, I'm not going to walk it through. It's his deck. It's not mine. Um, I'm. Mm, I'm not because of my religious background. I don't. I don't really associate with angels. But when I saw this deck, I really wanted it because of the way it's it's been created and put together. So you get this. You get this lovely box, and you get this lovely rose petal book, which. Um, is is really really pretty and it is it's well done it's a nice little book it's got um an introduction in there so you've got an index in there which is <clears throat> really good hold on a sec i'm really having to wing this because well i wing all of them nowadays don't i, I don't do anything i love the artwork i love the illustrations that are used in this deck it's beautiful there's an introduction uh, demons are spirits that straddle the border between the physical earth and the lower spiritual realm. So, I don't know, how, how do you feel about demons? Do you, uh, I mean, it's like working with Faye, isn't it? Some people will say that they can be quite mischievous, but, you know, that's their their nature. What are demons? What do they mean to you? And it talks about King Solomon and um, the demons and it tells the story of him conjuring. So the, the way the book is written I think is really well done from that perspective because you do get you know the, the history behind how he's put this deck together. There's a, there's a nice section in here about how you would work with this deck, how you would put your preparations and offerings together, the calendar of summoning, so, you know, you could imagine all of this in, in your big grimoire or, or, you know, Book of Shadows. It's really well done because you've got, it explains each section of the card. So at the bottom, it tells you that you've got the demon seal, the summoning sigil and the astrological seal at the bottom. It tells you what card it associates to in tarot at the top, um, the name of the demon, the angel that governs it. It's So it gives you 
it shows you exactly what's on the card and tells you exactly which bit refers to which, how to use it, gives you a picture of an offering. It's just, I like that. The only thing I would say, oh, and it has a section on questioning the demon. I love this artwork, it's just amazing. Look at those wings. Um, gives you a spread, the, you know, the, the, the normal um, Celtic spread. And then what, what did surprise me a little bit, which I wasn't expecting, is the cards themselves, there's nothing more on these images or in these pages than there are on the cards. So you're not going to get more information for, from that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I'm pretty sure, or oh, there's not very much. Teaches astrology logic. Yeah, so, okay, so there's there's a little bit, but there's there's not really... No, it's, no, I am right. It's exactly the same. So what's written on the card here is here, <laughs> is up here. Yeah, which I, I thought was a bit strange. But there we go. Look at the gorgeous guy who created them. Isn't he lovely? So that's the book. So the book is good for the initial introduction, explaining everything. But you won't get more from that than that. <laughs> yeah, really profound. <laughs> These are the, the, this is the deck. I love the backs. I think they're really well done. And look, just look at that. I mean, I just love that Rock Paul have done that. I think it's really, really well done. And I really like theirs. Now they're not in order because I, I did, I did get them out with the idea that I was going to work with them, but I didn't. Um, partly because I just, truthfully, I couldn't really see a way, oh, I'm knocking the, everything's precariously perched. I didn't know how to work with them. I didn't, to me, I wasn't really sure that I would work with them as a, um, a tarot deck. Does that, I mean, I. I haven't even done an interview. Can you imagine the first question? Describe me. Which card, which demon would I be described as? I might actually just, I might do that. I might, sorry, I'm wobbling the, the camera. I might do that because I think that would be quite funny. Um, I don't know that I would consider that I'm a left-hand path witch. I've considered it. Um, I don't do a huge amount of spell work. My husband did say to me once, what kind of a witch are you that you don't do a lot of spell work? Well, I don't do spell work partly because I don't want to draw energy from somewhere else that might be better used somewhere else. I don't do spell work for other people. Um, or on other people. Um, I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but, um, you know, I'm not uh, a Wiccan. I'm, I would go with traditional witchcraft, so I'm not opposed to hexing somebody. But I, I again, I think that the energy that you're taking from somewhere else. So if somebody asked me to do a love spell, I would decline because I don't feel that... Um, if, if, if some guy leaves you for another woman, then let him go because, you know, why would you want to be second best? And if he wants to come back because it didn't work, then equally, why would you want him back? Because, you know, why would you, why would you want a jar full of toenail clippings and hair just to get somebody to love you? No, I don't, I don't agree with love spells. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not adverse to um, protection spells. I've, I've done protection on my home. Um, I'm not adverse to working with um, the dark energies within proper boundaries. And by that, I mean that we are all dark and light. We're all 
and various shadows in between. So we are not just pure light. We've all got that other side to us. But um, I would suggest that that is something that these cards might be very useful for. So if you're going to do a, a spell for maybe banishing or you want to, I don't know, work with your shadow self, then this would probably be a, a lovely deck to use in that kind of work. As most of my, I mean, I work with Hecate and she is considered a dark goddess. I don't necessarily see her like that particularly. <clears throat> I see her very much as somebody that is um, present in everything. She's, um, she's in the garden predominantly for me. She works with nature and uh, pharmaca and that's where <clears throat> most of my craft really is actually focused in nature, um, in crafting, and uh, so although she is considered a dark goddess, I really don't have that, you know, vibe off of her. So how would I work with these? I would, as I say, I'd use them for spell work predominantly. I might pull a card to see what's around me um, <clears throat> if there's anything I need to be aware of but I haven't <coughs> excuse me I haven't worked with them um, I keep meaning to get them out I don't want the angels deck because as I say with my religious background I don't really know what I think they are um, to me darkness I don't believe in hell unless going to Asda's shopping would qualify, which it might. I don't, um, <clears throat> I don't, I think it, there is plenty of evil in this world and it, it is walking around in human skin. But demons, I'm not, I, I haven't studied, I don't know anything about them. So I wouldn't like to, um, necessarily pull something in that I didn't know anything about. I'm very respectful of energies and light and shade and dark and you know um, I know the world the universe is made up of, of all of those things so it's not just one thing. I hope these aren't blurred. Um, it's really difficult for me to see because the light is it's darker <laughs> It's, I've got a good balance of dark and light going on here, but I, from the cards perspective, would I want them in my collection? Yes, of course, because I'm a collector. I collect cards. I love them for the artwork. I think they're my, I've got a video that I want to do on the different types of tarot. It's a bit like I want to just um, bite sort of into that pie and maybe have a bit of a discussion on the different types of tarot. So um, that's a, perhaps a conversation for another time. Yeah, just have another look at my card. Um, I haven't worked with it. I haven't studied with it. I, I've literally, I got it out, read the book, liked the way the book was written, loved the cards, would definitely use these images in my grimoire. Um, I imagine they would be quite useful in protection. I think they've got quite a, a, a positive vibe to them. Um, so, it, you know, that you're, I don't recall when I looked at them seeing anything that suggested that they were going to be gory or dark or, you know, there isn't necessarily... Um, there's no negative energy in here. I don't didn't pick them up and go, oh, I can't work with this deck. There was a deck I picked up. I can't remember what it was now. I did not like, I didn't like it. I don't know what it was now. Gosh, it was so long ago. Everything has dark and light. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you have to learn to balance them both. I'm afraid. 
So that's the deck. Um, as I say, I'm going to do another couple of videos. I want to do one. This was for Jamie because I've been promising for ages. So the next one that I want to do is going to be on the different types of tarot because I, I really do want to have a little gnaw on that bone. And if I can, I'd like to do uh, a woodland one, but you won't get many from me uh, videos because it is such a, a, a faff. And I've gone into Molly mode and I'm doing a lot of um, sewing and crafting at the moment. So we have Temperance, which is um, a nice card to pull actually. Purcell teaches geometry and liberal sciences, makes great noises and warms water. Um, Purcell, I think is the pronunciation for that card. And interestingly enough, I think Temperance is a perfect card for me at the moment because it is about balancing. It's about that duality. Um, it's a very calming energy, even if he does suggest here that makes great noises and warms water. But I like Temperance. I think Temperance is a nice card. So, as I say, thank you if you've stayed with me to the end of this video. I genuinely appreciate it because they are not professional videos. They are just a mad witch waffling. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing if you do. And I will be putting out more content, but I do struggle to find things I think are worthy of putting up. And I don't feel that what I have to say really has much uh, to contribute necessarily. Anyway, thank you ever so much. I hope that was useful. And if not, I'm sure you can find plenty of other walkthroughs. Take care and speak to you soon. Bye.